Time is running out for Russia. Moscow lost its appeal to overturn a ban from World Athletic Games. The governing body insists that Russia needs further reforms before it can compete once more on the global stage. As CCTV's Dan Williams reports, Russia has only one remaining review before the Olympics. Monaco has a reputation for being a playground for the world's rich and famous. But it's also the backdrop for the latest development in Russia's anti-doping saga. On top of the agenda for the IAAF, the sport's world governing body, was whether Russia has done enough to have its suspension lifted and allow the country's athletes to compete at the Rio Olympics in August. But IAAF president Sebastian Coe says more needs to be done. The task force wanted more time. Some progress has been made. They want to see greater progress in some key areas. And the task force is very clear. The criteria is very clear. There are five very important criteria to be met. There's no ambiguity about it. And the council accepted the recommendation from the task force that they be given more time to be able to report on progress in those five key areas. The IAAF suspended Russia in November after an independent report by the World Anti-Doping Agency detailed systematic corruption and doping cover-ups in the country. The IAAF ordered a series of criteria for the Russians to meet before they would then be eligible for readmission. Russian authorities believe they are on the right path, but admit there's still much more to do. It's our main task to show that it's real changes. It's real changes in our federation, first of all in our anti-doping policy. And if we'll do it, if we'll follow to uh, uh, task force recommendations, then I'm sure council will appreciate it. Of course, I, I can be confident that it will be uh, positive for us. Former world marathon champion Paula Radcliffe is among those calling for tougher sanctions. She signed a petition that wants Russian athletes banned from competition until money won by those who cheated is repaid. The Federation has to be, move into the 21st century and be run properly as a business, um, properly accountable for everything and really kind of in a professional manner to support a sport that is now professional and needs to be looked after. And first and foremost, the job of the International Federation is to protect every clean athlete out there, whatever level they're at in our sport, and make sure that they can compete on a fair and level playing field. In the meantime, five countries, Ethiopia, Morocco, Kenya, Ukraine and Belarus, have been warned that they also must improve their anti-doping programs. The path for Russian athletics authorities is clear. More reforms are required if the country is to send a track and field team to the Rio Olympics. Time is running out and in two months we'll have a final answer. Dan Williams, CCTV, Monaco.